I'm here to help. You and I will get through this together. Well, folks, I'm back with uh, Sorinthia and her husband, Brian. Uh, Sorinthia really wants to have another baby, but Brian says he doesn't want any more children, and it's causing a lot of friction. The couple has even talked about divorce, but it doesn't have to come to that because there's a lot of love here. This is not a divorce situation. We, we, we got to find something. At least we got to keep this going on. Okay, so this is a little delicate uh, situation, but are you taking precautions? What are you doing to not have a baby? Actually, Steve, I'm not taking anything, and we're not using any contraceptives. You either, Brian? No, Steve, I'm being as careful as I can be. <laughs> <laughs> careful? <laughs> careful. When you say being as careful as you can be, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um, I'm being careful, Steve. <laughs> You're careful. <laughs> I'm careful. Okay, wait to see how this works out. <laughs> well, here to help everybody is clinical psychologist and author of A Happy You. Please welcome Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo. <laughs> Dr. Lombardo, just get right to it. How common is the problem that these guys are having? It's extremely common. It's common for couples to disagree on child issues. And it's really common not to have this communication. We are really lacking significant communication here. Not until you get on national TV do we hear some really significant fears that Brian has. And obviously, it affects Cerinthia. They, what they need to do is put their cards on the table. You've got to talk about your fears, what's really going on inside, so that you can address these in a real smart and rational way. OK, now, Brian says that age and money are factors. What do you see? Well, I, that's very common. It's very common for older men, and I'm using older, um, not old men, but, you know, people in their 40s and 50s who start to think about, wow, what's it going to be like? Brian is making some assumptions. He's making assumptions that he's not going to be able to get on the floor and play with his children. And really, children make us younger. And so I don't know that that's an assumption that we can definitely base all of our uh, decision-making on. OK. What do you think what the doctor says? It could be true. Uh, maybe we'll see when I get to be that age mm -hmm. where I can't roll around on the floor. I don't know. Yeah. Now, hey, Doc, let me ask you something. How can this couple move forward? The first thing I would say is, can we take a break from this? Okay. Obviously, you two love each other a lot. Four times a week of arguing is a lot. So take a break from the conversation. Put it on the back burner for now and focus on you as a couple, enjoying being together and being married and being husband and wife. The second thing is, why do you want another child? What are the benefits of having another child or not having another child? And then the third thing is, is the grass always greener? Cerinthia, you come from a big family, and you're convinced that having a big family is the only way to find happiness. What I would encourage you and both of you to do is to focus on your current family and how you can have as much happiness within what you have right now. You know, what I don't want to see happen here is two people who obviously are in love lose that. It's, it's so hard to find a good woman. It's so hard to find a good man. You all don't have other problems. This is just the issue right here. You're going to have to weigh wanting a big family or wanting this family. I mean, there's a saying my daddy told me one time. He said, what does it matter who's right or wrong when love is gone? What difference does it matter? Well, good luck to you, whatever you decide. Let us know what you come up with. But if you keep going like you're going, we're going to have a baby. Exactly. Send me the address so I can send a baby shower gift. Yes. <laughs> hey, good luck to you. Hey, Thank we'll you. be right back, folks. We got more show.